The ability of U.S.-led United Nations forces to respond to a North Korean military threat has degraded since U.S. President Donald Trump agreed to suspend military exercises on the Korean Peninsula, the Pentagon's nominee to command American troops in the region said on Tuesday. General Robert Abrams, the current four-star commanding general of the U.S. Army Forces Command, made the comment to the U.S. Senate Armed Services Committee during a hearing on his nomination to take over the U.N. Command, the Combined Forces Command and U.S. Forces in South Korea. When asked by Democratic Senator Jean Shaheen about the impact of suspending the military exercises, Abrams replied, there was certainly degradation to the readiness of the Combined Forces. The U.S. said in late June that it had indefinitely suspended selected military exercises on the Korean Peninsula to support Trump administration talks aimed at removing nuclear weapons from North Korea in the wake of U.S. President Donald Trump's meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in Singapore. Kim Jong-un had long denounced U.S.-South Korea military exercises in the region as an act of war aimed at North Korea. The exercises were important in helping the Allies to maintain continuity and continue to practice our interoperability, Abrams said. So, without them, there was a slight degradation. Trump flags second summit as Moon relays Kim's vow to remove nuclear weapons however, he said he had great confidence that the outgoing U.S. forces chief in South Korea, General Vincent Brooks, had instituted a mitigation plan to counter the degradation until military exercises resumed. When asked by Democratic Senator Jean Shaheen if he had actually seen the mitigation plan, Abrams said he had looked at some of it and it called for a series of smaller scale and lower volume maneuvers than usual. At the hearing, Republican Senator Tom Cotton asked Abrams if it is critical that we resume military exercises and also sought confirmation from the nominee that the next major exercise is scheduled for the spring in 2019. The general answered affirmatively, saying, Exercise is scheduled for this spring. The major exercises, to my best knowledge, were in the planning stage. Whether they actually are held is a future decision to be made by alliance leaders, he said. Full North Korean denuclearization by early 2021, Pompeo says a spokesman at the U.S. Defense Department did not immediately respond to an email seeking confirmation that the Pentagon plans to resume military exercises next spring. Democratic Senator Joe Donnelly asked Abrams if he agreed with a recent South Korean press report which said that if the suspension of major military exercises continued, in just two years, routine duty rotations would leave most officers in the U.S.-South Korea Combined Command with little to zero experience in conducting joint exercises. Do you agree with that assessment? And has the cancellation of these exercises impacted our readiness and ability to fight tonight? Donnelly asked. Abrams responded that the temporary suspension of exercises was a prudent risk, since it supported the opportunity to open up additional diplomatic efforts and negotiations between the United States and DPRK. North Korea drops missiles from military parade in sign of denuclearization The general emphasized that, we know inherently, that by not conducting training exercises there will be a degradation of readiness and capability and the interoperability of the combined forces. He said if his nomination were confirmed by the U.S. Senate, one of his top priorities would be to conduct a personal assessment of the readiness of the force and the actual true war-fighting capabilities of the combined forces.